Tonight at Target 12 Investigators Exclusive Taxpayer Taxi, we've discovered two of the state's top legislators are being taken for a ride and you're footing the bill. Last night, we revealed a taxpayer-funded car and driver for the Senate president was picked, was used to pick her up at a political fundraiser. Tonight, strong reaction to our report and possible change over at the State House in response. Let's get right to Target 12 Investigator Tim White with the exclusive details. <clears throat> After we spotted the Senate car at a marquee political fundraiser in the heart of campaign season, we wanted to know how else the car was used. But our request came up empty because state officials say they don't track that. The Rhode Island Democratic Party's annual Unity Dinner is the biggest political fundraiser of the year. So we wanted to know why this taxpayer bought, maintained, and fueled vehicle with a state worker behind the wheel was used to pick up Senate President Teresa Piva Weed at the partisan event. The driver waited for an hour and a half that night, then drove her 48 miles from the event in Barraville all the way back to her home in Newport. The Senate car then had to be dropped back off at the State House at 1030 that night. Is this okay in your eyes? No, I mean, this is clearly, I think, abuse of one of the perks of office. John Marion is the executive director of the Good Government Group, Common Cause Rhode Island. These cars should be used for official business. They shouldn't be used for, for party politics uh, in any way. Piva Weed says that was a rare occurrence, and she used it the night of the political fundraiser because she had an official event earlier in the evening. The policy that I have employed that, that I have had here in the office has been to go in a private vehicle if there's a political event and be picked up at the political event to be brought home. Both the Senate President and House Speaker Gordon Fox have a vehicle at their disposal, though we did not witness Fox use the car at a political fundraiser. Our investigation reveals the car assigned to Fox has 29,000 miles on it, while Piva Weed's vehicle has 80,000 miles on it. Marion says the General Assembly's budget is often mysterious because so much happens behind closed doors. Uh, and there's a lot in that budget that I don't think we know about because that budget's pretty opaque. To be honest, it surprised me that they even own the vehicles. Piva Weed tells us she thinks it might be time to change things on Smith Hill and possibly get rid of the cars. I think the bigger question is, should we have a state vehicle at all? Mm -hmm. And as I said earlier, that is certainly one that I think when that decision is mine to make, I will take that into consideration. Last night, our investigation revealed our neighbors in Massachusetts with a full-time legislature and down in Connecticut with a part-time General Assembly like ours do not provide their leadership with a publicly funded car and driver. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. And the investigation continues online, including details on how much the drivers make, plus a look at other top politicians who have drivers and why the circumstances are different. It's all on WPRI.com. The Target 12 investigators are always looking to uncover news. If you want to help expose corruption or drop a dime on government waste, you can call our tip line 228-1763 or email us at Target12 at WPRI.com.